We are now with uh, Teresa in front of uh, Buckingham Palace. You have organized a demonstration against child abuse. What's your purpose? Uh, well, it's, it's not just child abuse, it's also domestic abuse. So what we want to do is raise awareness. Um, we are aware that there's a, a lot of people now are living within abusive relationships that affects children. And we need to actually stop the cycle of, of abuse. So whether they are seeing physical abuse or whether they are actually involved in that physical abuse or indeed sexual abuse, the controls that uh, an abuser uh, uses is actually breaking down our society as we continue the cycle instead of breaking the cycle. So we need to empower our police to actually be able to enforce uh, the laws, whether it's coercion or whether it's stalking or whether it is indeed just abuse, but also putting mechanisms and support services in place to help uh, those that are being abused to always have um, uh, counselling, uh, safe refuges. Refuges in the next two years will uh, have disappeared because of funding cuts um, so we want to get everything onto the national curriculum uh, we want to improve um, charges and uh, sentencing for perpetrators um, so we just yeah we want to make a, a massive difference really so we're raising awareness today and what's the situation now about uh, abuse uh, domestic and uh, child abuse in uh, Britain in this moment at this moment uh, one in four women will experience directly domestic abuse uh, one in five men will be uh, experiencing experiencing domestic abuse um, and one in six teenagers will also uh, will be experiencing a form of uh, relationship abuse. There's still victim shaming going on, a lot of rape cases will never ever make it to court, not least the fact that people will not actually come forward when they're being raped. Uh, so we need to really empower victims, we need to stop the cycle as I've said, we need to educate, we need to put proper laws and sentencing in, in place. So. Why are you here in front of uh, Buckingham Palace today? Um, today, well, we decided to uh, come along and actually uh, sort out, uh, well, to actually promote um, the better, a better way forward um, and, um, in, and, and help really people to know um, that they have help out there. There are a lot of charities throughout the UK and we want people to, to um, know that they will get help if they come forward. They can go to the police, there are national helplines, there are lots of charities, especially in their own areas, that will help them. Um, so, yeah, we want to raise, raise that awareness. Are you here because uh, there is a new government? Uh, it, starts... it just so happens that we, today we had already booked to actually all come down here and we were... It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence. It just so happens that we now have Theresa May coming on board. We are very concerned about Theresa May, not least the fact that she's aware that there are sex dolls at the age of three being, uh, being promoted and sold within this country. She believes that that does not make a difference to a sex abuser, but in my, in, if a paedophile has a, one of those sex dolls, is they're not going to actually go any further? Yes, of course they will. Sex offenders, she thinks, have the right to adopt children, yet children are being taken away from the victims of abuse under the um, umbrella that potentially they would emotionally abuse them when that is not the case. Finally, What's the name of your group? Uh, my, the charity is One uh, Voice Against Abuse. Um, we're a newly formed charity. We are a coordinating charity. We work and uh, promote all the services that are available around the country. And we're empowering people to come uh, forward, uh, whether it's historic abuse or abuse that they're existing at the, this moment in time. So <laughs> When you're ready, I'll turn around. Oh my God, ladies, <laughs> jogging. It's too hard to be around.